Malaysia, one of the few countries Iranians can visit without a visa. The Muslim-majority country also continues to support Iran commercially, despite crippling sanctions from the U.S. And now some claim it has become a hotbed for training Iranian-backed militias, like Hamas. Experts say Iran has historic ties to Malaysia, but not diplomatic ones. Iran and Malaysia have uh, historical and natural uh, links. Uh, they don't really have a political relationship. But deny any claims it's being used as fertile ground for Iranian military activity. But I don't think it is true. The truth will be that uh, there are more Iranians coming in, possibly, because, like I said, Malaysia is a more open country in Southeast Asia than many other countries. In the ASEAN, it is, I would call it, the Swiss of the Muslim world. But I don't think there is anything geopolitical about it or anything politically international that their intention is to use Malaysia as a satellite state. No, I don't think they can do that. Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad is known for being an avid critic of Israel, even announcing he is proud to be called an anti-Semite. At a conference in support of the Palestinians, Mahathir exclaimed that Jews were always a problem in European countries. The Malaysian prime minister said that Jews were always a problem in European countries. They had to put them in ghettos and slaughter them from time to time, but they survived and flourished, and they hold entire governments hostage. Even after the Nazis slaughter them, they continue to be the world's biggest troublemaker. Still ties between Iran and Malaysia worries Jerusalem, which keeps a watchful eye on potential threats from the east. Emily Rose, I-24 News.